All right, guys. Let's go. Well, we're going to have to use acid rounds because it's all I got. I mean, it's not killing them, but it's knocking them down, and I got it. I gotta get past them. Okay. Now, what the fuck was on the bottom of this? Uh. Fuck, I already forgot what it looked like. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, oh, oh, big on top. Okay. All right, so now we got to go mix our little chemical agents. Um, unfortunately, I am out of flame rounds, <sighs> which sucks a lot. Um, and I, you can't make flame rounds either, which really fucking sucks. Alright, luckily these dudes aren't hanging out over here. Oh yeah, I can toss this fucking statue now. Free up some inventory space. Um, maybe if I tossed a grenade at him, it'd kill him, but hopefully... Making this stuff will, uh... Manual okay. mode engaged. What Adjust the? amount of solution to match cartridge capacity. Interesting little puzzle. Hmm. No, that's not going to do it. Wait a minute. Like that. And like that. Okay. Nailed it. <laughs> I gotta say, I like the return of, like, true blue puzzles in this game, too. I've enjoyed them. Quite a bit. Uh, this feels like a nice mix of modern and old school Resident Evil to me. I'm really fucking enjoying it. Alright, let's go spray this shit all over these assholes and see what happens, huh? If anybody gets in my fucking way, let's melt them. Okay. Alright, work your magic stuff. <clears throat> Error. Solution temperature is outside acceptable range. Oh yeah, we're supposed to cool it. My bad. Alright, so now we have to go... Well, it's a more attractive prospect to go this way. Yeah, go down to cold storage this way, I think. Because this is the way to cold storage, right? No, that's the lounge. Yeah, low temperature storage. We couldn't get to, though. Hmm. I 
maybe using this weird little decoder will... What did I miss here? Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yes, please. Luckily, liquors don't get back up. God. Okay. Error. Uh. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, so we're trying to match the wavelengths, huh? There we go. Interesting. Alright, well, let's try it now. What? I set it to... Oh, no, I set it to Muff, not Murph. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Oh, Muff and Murph seem very similar to each other. There we go. All right. So... We were able to restore power. So, maybe now they're unlocked? Yes. Well, at least they should be. <laughs> I thought those were hanging plant vines, but no, it's just a wire. Uh, yes, we'll take a new combat knife. Yes, we will take that as well. Oh, yes, please. We will totally take that. All right, nice. Server room is best room. Okay, what else do we... Uh, dump that combat knife. Um, do I have any gunpowder stored in here? I don't know if I do or not. No, it doesn't look like it. All right, well... Uh, I will do just that. Let's free up some space. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll go from there. And we're going to save real quick. All right, let's go cool this crap off. So we can kill the damn plant. I'm assuming that's why we're doing this. All right. I'm sure there's some frozen zombies in here somewhere. Frozen somethings. Maybe I'll get lucky and they'll be a tyrant. <laughs> or hunters. Let's not forget about hunters, which I have not seen. I don't want to see them. Oh, God damn it. Um... Yeah, I, I really don't. Fuck you. This is where you fall down. Oh, we got concrete brains. Alright, well you better be fucking dead, because that was an awful lot of bullets to your dome. Welcome back, Dr. Lee. You have five new messages. <sighs> Do I? Good for me. Okay. It's gonna be cold as balls in here, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, damn. Should have packed my parka. Not the time, Claire. <laughs> Yeah. We got. Alright. So I can make a couple more acid rounds when I get the chance. Or. Uh, 
Oh, he's, he's fucking dead. That's nice. Good. It's nice to know that once in a while I just run into a dead body. That's not going to get up and try and eat me. Okay. Let's see here. Everybody, chill. Yeah, I quoted Batman and Robin. I don't know why, but I did. Alright. Nice. That's a nice little throwback to Resident Evil 2, the little Armatron robot. Can you tell I grew up in the 80s? Fucking Armatron. I think it was badass. Okay. Uh, we can fuck off now. Of course. Uh, subject, what's he up to? Can you believe that bastard Cartwright? Cool your jets, asshole. Well, I guess he is the boss for now, anyway. Have you seen my helix anywhere? Put it in the secret bottom, but... Let me know if you find it. So you can make a little meeting fine. Don't worry, the greenhouse inspections. that I'll give you something real simple to do. Put together the budget estimate for the next... For the year after next and get it done tonight. Uh, are you alive or under attack? People are dead. These stereos cut off. I can't operate the bridge with the wristbands we have here. Where is that bastard car right hiding? Plant 43 is going wild. The greenhouse is hell. We need to send someone in there before it's too late. Wayne, how do we stop this thing? You have to reply. Please help. You remember Susie, the cheerleader? What a great gal. We bo both into her. Of course, she wasn't into nerds. I still have to give you back those comics and games I borrowed, but you might have to wait a while. Itchy, tasty. All right. Let's get the fuck out of here and go kill this stupid plant. Uh, no, we don't want to go that way. Because if we go back that way, then we have to bypass those two zombies in that hallway, and I can save some ammo by not fucking with them. Just in case, though. Always be ready. Okay. Yeah, I hear ya. Don't worry. I'll be dealing with you assholes in a minute here. Alright. Time to trim the trees. Dispensing solution now. That's right. Hey, there's our level three chip. So much for the weed infestation. Nice. Warning. You have dispersed a dangerous solution without authorization. So your actions have been logged, and you may be subject to disciplinary measures. You may be subject to shutting the fuck up. Yeah, not so fucking tough now, are ya? You like it, fucker. So these guys take two. <laughs> she just called him an asshole. I love it. Asshole. <laughs> Yeah! They are assholes, Claire. You're right. The hell's this guy? Why is this guy relatively okay? That's really weird. And doesn't make a lot of sense, but... Okay. The hell was that? Oh, he fell out of the suit. Okay. Anyway. They're starting to grow back, but that's okay. We upgraded our wrist thingy, so... Uh, 
So anyway, we didn't get to go over here. No, we went everywhere over here, so we can... Whoa! Excuse me, coming through. One side. Yeah, man. That's how we do. It's kind of creepy how they sound like the girl from The Grudge, right? <laughs> yeah, you guys just, just keep burning each other. That's awesome. Alright. Get the fuck out of here. Alright, so hopefully that's the last I have to deal with these assholes. Byron Cartwright's inbox. Uh, sender William Buckner Hyper already increased security. When did Nest become a nest for spies? Three m last month and another four this month, and those are just the ones we caught. Step up security, Cartwright, or do you want to end up like your predecessor? Also, I'll be restricting access to the West Area from today. Ignore all requests from headquarters for information on G. Those suits contribute nothing to this project anyway. Sender, no reply. Subject warning unauthorized access detected herbicide dispersal by unauthorized employee detected in the east area. Wayne Lee. Yep. That's gonna just gonna have to write me up, boss. Son of a bitch. Okay. Uh yeah, all this shit we went through. Let's save it real quick and then we'll head over to the west area, which seems to be the place to be. Alright. And away we go. Uh, didn't I put some gunpowder away? Well, I feel like I did. Yes, so I can make some more acid rounds. Sweet. I'm sure those will come in handy later. Uh, 11 acid rounds. It's, it's not bad. Um... Doing okay on everything else, right? I don't have any herbs stored. No, okay. Just making sure. Okay. All right. Let's go see what's going on back there. Actually, did we get through all the areas over? No, we didn't. There was the nap room up there. Let's go check that out real quick before we head to the west side. West area, I'm sorry. Oh, that's security level four. So that's like William Birkin and no one else had access to that. Probably in that. Okay. Running, running, running. Put the power on over here. Maybe some cool stuff will happen. Probably not, though. I'm guessing all it's going to do is open up these pods. Maybe there's some items in there, plus Dr. Lee, whom I need to thank. Okay, so we got to set this back to MUF. There we go. All right. Ooh, Dr. Lee's waking up. Well, that's nice to get in my way. He's pissed that I stole his wristband. Wayne Lee's note. Dear God, blood everywhere. What the hell's happening? They're dead, all dead. It was those men in black. Umbrella Special Services. Uh, Headquarters Special Forces. But why? Isn't their job to protect us? White brains in a sea of red? This can't be happening. Dear God, why? Didn't everybody say I was a genius? A genius like me can't die in a place like this. I always got results. They're screwing me. Well, maybe I'll screw them. I'll win the Nobel. I'm a hero, a genius, a god. I will not die. I will... Yeah. Sorry, bro. Thanks for the wristband, though. That was... helpful. <laughs> okay. So now we are good to head over to the west side. 
Totally worth coming back, though, as you can see. I know I missed some stuff in the police station. I know I missed some lockers. Um, I don't think I opened all of the safes, either. But, well... Can't always get everything done in a single playthrough. Maybe on my next one I'll be able to do that. Alright. Interested to see. I just hope there's no goddamn moth. I really hated that fucking moth. Hated it even more in Outbreak. I should... Well, I don't know. I don't know if going back and checking on Sherry's a thing. Or if it alters anything, but... We'll see, right? I don't think these guys are... Operation Nest Wrecker. That's what you guys named it. You're very proud of yourselves, aren't you, hunk? You know, couldn't I just call Annette and say, Hey, Annette, I brought your fucking daughter to the lab. Can't you take five goddamn minutes to save her life? Or are you just going to continue to be a massive bitch? Oh, and hey, I can play it right here. Okay, so, OSS. Uh, salmon. Well, fuck, that was easy. All right. <clears throat> Yay. We have lights, we have power. Why didn't Annette do this? I mean, if she's in here trying to fucking... I mean, it looks like William busted through the door here. Uh... Let's check this. William Birkin's inbox. Senator Jane Doyle suspending research on G. Um, the Umbrella Corporation has decided to cease all research on G, which was ongoing at the Nest Underground Laboratory. All funding for this project has been cut, and Laboratory Director William Birkin has been removed from his post. Senator B.E. Thank you for your, your mail, Dr. Birkin. Top Brass has expressed an interest in this evolving bioweapon you mentioned. Do not worry about costs. Our company is the most well-funded in the whole of the United States. Richard Kessler, congratulations. I heard the good news. G is almost ready. Strange you never thought to report to the research lab here at Umbrella HQ, but I suppose I can let that slide. Anyway, send over the data, would you? And don't worry. You've done good work on G, but we can take care of the rest. Senator Jane Doyle, notice of admonishment. You're under suspicion of breaching your contract with the Umbrella Corporation. It has become clear that you have claimed ownership of the G Project and have been in unauthorized contact with the U.S. military. Please respond to the investigation committee summons within 24 hours. Okay, so... I mean, we all knew that William Birkin was trying to keep G for himself, but we thought that he was just some kind of crazed dickhead who was, you know, just didn't want to give up his baby, so to speak. You know, came a little obsessed with his own genius. Was unaware that he basically was trying to sell it to the U.S. military, which sounds like a dangerous proposition, given that if you had gone to the U.S. military with something like that, that they might have just immediately come and arrest you or blown you the fuck up. Seeing so as how it goes against every kind of <laughs> other line in the Geneva Convention to use bioorganic weapons or bioweapons. But what the fuck do I know? I'm just some white guy who kills people. There we go. Good eyes on the G virus. Dr. Birkin, you'll come along with us quietly. You think I didn't know you were coming? This is my life's work. I'm not handing over anything. We have our orders, Dr. Birkin. I'll ask you one more time. Hold your fire! What the fuck were you thinking? Our orders were to bring him in alive! Yeah, Martinez, you asshole. We're in, sir. We had a snafu. 
target resisted, we had to take him out. That's correct, sir. Roger that. Just the samples, then. Let's move. Nice. I like how they're retelling this via the uh, shoulder cams. Something that they used extent, um, not extensively, but something that came about in uh, the original remake of Resident Evil with Kenneth. Oh, poor Kenneth. Kenneth, I barely got any screen time, Sullivan. No, that's nothing. Hmm. All right. Take that. A lot of uh, acid rounds coming my way, or at least the means to make a lot of acid rounds. Uh, yeah, you're, that's why you're supposed to wear a suit, Claire. Chemical bath. I don't feel any cleaner. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. All right, this has already all been opened up. God, I wonder if Umbrella's behind this. <laughs> Sorry. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't want to be in here. Ooh. Okay. Nice. All right. So we got a, got a hand thing. We got a big eyeball tumor. And we got what appears to be balls. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Research diary. Embryo growth observations. After the G embryo was implanted in the subject, we made a 50 centimeter incision from the chest to the abdomen and began our observations. With the help of the medical team, the subject's conscious levels was kept between 15, lucid, GCS 10. However, the subject's consciousness level deteriorated and further observation was deemed unnecessary. The subject was then disposed of. Breeding rate observations. The G virus was administered to subject 501. 501 mutated into G form and was introduced to a group of 30 test subjects. Jesus Christ. After two hours, 36 minutes, it was observed that all but one of the test subjects had been implanted with an embryo. All subjects were disposed of. One subject broke down during experimentation and took their own life. I don't blame them there. They're getting knocked up by a bio monster. Uh, T virus resistant experimentation. We administered the G virus to subject 628, who had shown slight resistance to the T virus. The virus was then introduced to subject 639, with whom 628 had a close relationship. 628 showed some signs of resistance, but had been implanted with an embryo after 24 hours. T virus resistance does nothing to stop the mental deterioration caused by the G virus. Okay. Well, I mean, we all knew that the G virus is pretty fucking terrible. What do we got here? Well, that's the same thing as um, Sherry's pendant. God damn it. <sighs> Look at that. All right. <sighs> Hell yeah. Got it. Oh, thank God. The antiviral agent. Gotta get back to Sherry. I mean, I do have to get back to Sherry, but I also need to check out this sweet lab. <laughs> oh, well, that'll make some submachine gun ammo. Uh, there we go. There's no fish in there. Maybe that's where they grew the alligator. Okay. No, sorry, submachine gun. We're gonna make some more acid rounds. Yeah, cause I, I just have a fucking feeling that acid rounds are gonna be a little bit more useful in the end. Let's see what we got here. Uh, yeah, not much. Well, I can get rid of this thing. Um, just in case some shit goes down, we'll take that combat knife with us. Extra combat knife never hurt anybody, right? Okay, let's save it and go save Sherry.
All right. I was honestly unaware of how much time had passed because I just get sucked into these fucking games. That's why a lot of my episodes are running at like the 30 minute mark, maybe even a little over. But all right, guys, I'm going to pick it up from here. We're going to go back and save the little girl. Uh, but you're going to have to wait to see how that goes down because until then, I will see you next time.